Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin encouraging you to run with endurance the race that God has set before you. It's Thursday, September the 8th. I started a new series this past Sunday on connecting in our times and I, I came across some stats that makes that a, a much more difficult proposition of these days. For instance, when asked why uh, they belong to a certain political party, uh, over 40% of either party said it's because they oppose the other party's values. You see the same thing coming out in the political advertising that's uh, showing up more and more these days and, and how much of it is actually negative campaigning. Uh, the same thing happens in our lives. When we get called out for or a mistake or some some blunder and uh, our strategy is to try to convince people it wasn't our our fault or it wasn't our responsibility or it's somebody else's fault that's exactly what Pilate is doing in Matthew chapter 27 when the case regarding Jesus came before him uh, Matthew 27 verse 24 says when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing but rather that a riot was beginning he took water and washed his hands before the crowd saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, his blood be on us and on our children. So just a couple observations uh, today. The first one is that shifting blame to others just because the heat's getting turned up is uh, a bad strategy if we really want to connect with others today. Uh, second, shirking our responsibilities only puts a greater load on those around us, which again, is not a great strategy for connecting with others. So uh, my encouragement is for us today, let's make sure that we know what we are responsible for and when we drop the ball, let's be quick to admit it and then do what we can to actually make it right. That is a great strategy for connecting with others uh, today. So here's the question of the day for you. Uh, how do you respond when someone adds to your load because they don't want to admit that they've actually dropped the ball? How do you respond? Let me pray for you today. Father, we, we look to you today and it really is our desire to represent you well, to be able to connect with others in a way that gives us a platform to share the good news uh, with people who are actually listening and will listen because of the way that we, we live our lives, because of our faithfulness to you. And so uh, we just ask you to help us to Help us to know what you've called us to and help us to, to be quick to, to own it when we, we drop the ball and, and then to do what we can to make things right, Lord. So help us to be those kinds of people as we follow you today and represent you today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. We've got a big uh, church family workday schedule for this coming Saturday beginning at 8 a.m. There'll be donuts and coffee on hand uh, one of the projects that we're hoping to uh, get marked off the list is uh, the removal of the trees that you can see behind me growing in uh, the pond uh, really so people can get a better view of our uh, facilities and uh, and also uh, in preparation for them being able to see the new sign that we're going to get so as we build bridges with our community, let's, uh, let's take out a couple of trees so they can actually see us a little better. And let's keep coming together in the passionate pursuit of the next generation.